Hello guys and welcome to my new Let's Play of Hearts of Iron for the Great War mod as the Netherlands. I am back in World War I as the greatest nation in Europe, the Netherlands. And once again, I shall recreate the evil Dutch Empire. Ha ha ha. I hope some people actually get that reference. If not, then I'm gonna play as the Netherlands. I'm gonna join the Central Powers, and maybe then afterwards, once we defeat the Allies, you know, maybe set up my own faction, then try and kill them? We shall see how that goes. All of this might fall apart instantly, but that's the plan to begin with. My plans always change. We're gonna start in May 1st, 1910. Four years before the Great War. Let's play. Also, I'm keeping historical focus on... Because I don't want this game getting too hectic. We're going to keep historical focus on so I can follow the events and then I can change history as I like. So, let us begin. What do we have? We have four troops in the capital. We have 13 ships. What was that? Uh, actually, wow, six battleships, a few cruisers, and one sub. Right, what about over here? Nothing and no one. And in our mighty colonies over in Asia, we have a few battleships. Wow, we have a lot of battleships and not nearly enough infantry. Wow, I've got to put more men into the, uh, the Indies over there. Right. Let's begin. Also, I'm going to turn the music down. I have no idea how this is going to work. Uh, please forgive the first part or two for any music or anything like that. So, we shall start with our national focus. Now, I'm gonna stay as a democracy, as I did before in uh, my Napoleon Total War, Great War mod series, uh, but we all know that I will be ruling as head of state from behind the scenes. Now, I'm gonna try and join the Central Powers as quickly as possible and gain the benefits of being part of a great alliance with Germany. So, we shall start here. Diplomatic effort. Next. Research. What do I need? I need better guns. No more rifles. Let's get some automatics. Uh, what else am I missing? Probably some engineering. Research time. In fact, we might need to hold off on automatics while I get industry working. I need to definitely increase my industry first. Supply consumption. Don't need trenches. Don't need oil. Uh... We need anything else, though. Oh, uh, early tank projects? Research time? Yeah. Let's take that. What was this? Oh, wait, no, this is much easier. Go, we'll go over uh, chemical studies. Right. So that's how we're beginning with. And yeah, that's what we're beginning with. Unassigned divisions. Ah, all of you are not assigned. All right, let's get you assigned. Let's get you a commander. Field marshal. In fact, we don't need a field marshal. There's four of you. Let's get you a general. And you shall be on the Belgian border. Because they shall be our great enemy. I definitely want Belgium. So, civilian factories. I have... I don't have many. So, let's see. Let's get this area. Build in some more civilian factories. Yeah, we'll have that area. That's probably the safest area in the entire mainland. So, I got that going. What am I making here? I have two. Two factories. I'll need to make some support equipment. Let's get that going. Artillery will also be important. Artillery is key. I have far more naval dockyards than I do anything else. I've got 500 convoys. Uh, what should I have? What else should I make? Subs? Subs? Are they... Are they relevant at this point? They could be, and they're definitely sinking like the big ships. I don't have that much wood. So, I'm gonna go with subs. Let's go with uh, the normal subs. Get those going. Alright, let's actually get some trade going. What do I have? I have a surplus of rubber. Thanks to the Indies. So, uh, let's see if I can... I don't think I can really do anything with that. What I do need, though, is a bit more iron. If I need all the civilian factions I can get at the moment, I'm kind of stuck. I can't really trade. I need civilian factories to make more civilian factories. 
I don't really need guns or arms yet. I'm still four years after the Great War. And even then, I'm kind of hoping Germany will tag in for the majority of the war in Europe. I'm hoping to take the war to the colonies. So, possibly getting an extra unit built here. A few more units built in Asia. Something like that. Can also get you guys on a patrol. Just sort of circle here. Just these two parts. Yeah. And the main fleet. Combine together first. Have an admiral. And just stay on guard. Right. Can I have a feeling that the music's loud? I, I, I could be entirely wrong about this. Again, I will find out in the post-recording. Uh, apart from that, I don't know if there's much else I can really do. No. A lot of trades coming in. You can see where all the trades coming in. The moment I go to war with the Entente, this supply line gets a lot longer. And a lot more deadly. Right. And I think we're ready to start. Just quickly rename this. This is now... The European front. Not why is there plus there? Or we shall just call it Europe. That's no. You're you're up. God, it took me a while to just put that, didn't it? Okay, welcome to the Great War. Uh I don't really need to know about this. I know it would have given me benefits for listening, but I'm fairly sure it's one of these mods that then takes it away from you after you're done listening. So, let's go. Europe! A nation, well, a continent, that uh, used to only have like a handful of countries in it. Oh, death of Edward VII. King George V is now the new king. So this is going to be crazy in like four years. I'm sure they got like the Balkan War to look forward to, where they finally almost pushed the Ottomans out of Europe. We got that looked forward to. Apart from that... I can really do. I am hoping to do a lot more in the colonies, though. Like I said, I want to take all of this from the British. I want to take a Malaysia from the British. Get Singapore. Because there are a lot of resources there. A ton of resources that I could easily take from the British. Then there's, of course, Australia and New Zealand. I'm going to have to have, like, a lot of dedicated fronts for this. Albanian revolt. The Albanian troops to submit to the Turks. It's an Albanian uprising. Well, there goes that. Like I said, we've got a Balkamore to look forward to. Anyway, we are back to the evil Dutch Empire. That is not its official title yet. We are still just the Netherlands. But once we begin, we shall be the evil Dutch Empire again. National unity is pretty shot. I do not have nearly as much manpower as I would like. And political power is non-existent. Hopefully we're going to get this going. I can get that. I can get some advisors. Again, I don't want to go, I don't want to go fascist. Yet. Probably not ever. Okay, it might, it might just be a yet. You know, I could eventually come forward as fascist. If that's even a thin, it is definitely thin there. South African independence. So that's happened. No longer British. No divisions in basic training. I might as well get this started. What do I have in a division? Four groups. 4,000 manpower. I guess it could start. Could use some cavalry divisions as well? Uh... We'll get started. Just just the one. We'll always be training at least one in Holland. Before uh, before the time's out, I do want to swap. In fact, I will start. You two. You're going over to a new front. A new feeder. This is the South America front. And you shall go there. What? Can't go... Can I transport to a non-naval base? That is naval base. Go. I seem to have forgotten how to set them off. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be annoying. It has been a while. Ah, there we go. Finally, they're on the way. So, well, one of them's on the way, so fine! I will have one unit there. It's not like that place is even guarded. You shall have a new general there. Uh, yep. Mr. Cool. 
And you two shall be in a new theater, all of your own. Both of you. Okay, new theater. This one is the Asian front. Uh, she'll just call it Asia for now. All these may be subject to change. Uh, defense is probably key. There's no way I'm going to be able to do an offense here. So for now, we'll just have a garrison. And you shall definitely have a general. Got plenty of those lying around. Okay, so this situation. I have barely got any troops. Barely any troops at all. This is not Napoleon Total War. This is not where my one, possibly two armies can just absolutely destroy entire French divisions, entire French armies of artillery, like I did then. Oh boy, was that fun. Uh, let's go. Should I go immediately down support Germany? Not right now. I need more diplomatic power. So go for political effort right now. Modify my government. Right. Captain of industry. Uh, support democracy. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. So ah, definitely need the sound workhorse. We'll get him going. Okay. See what's going on around the world. Nothing really. China's still China. Korea is still a puppet of Japan. America is still America. A lot more colonies than the, there is in the base game. Just see how this rolls out. A lot, just gonna be a lot of waiting. I will start making a subfleet, I guess. Uh, create new fleets. All subs. That's a coastal sub. I wonder if that'll matter. Any anyway, new tech? Uh, let's go with early tank projects. Not poison gas. Uh, decryption, encryption. Could use decryption. Any industry going around? Let's go with that. Improved hand tools. Yeah, definitely maximum factory output. God knows I need it. I definitely need it. Oh, but, ah! From trade, it's kicked in! So I've get, I'm getting quite a few uh, factories from trade now. How am I doing in the arms department? I've got over a thousand basic guns in reserve. I've got a bit of support equipment. I could be doing better. I definitely need a bit of steel. Just a bit. So that's what I'll do. Start getting my surplus through the roof. Let's go to Germany and offer one factory. Will not be enough. But one factory to... Just sort of kickstart my industry. There we go. So I'm making seven subs a year. Much better. I'm making all the support equipment I can. And I'm only a little behind in guns because I don't have enough wood. Netherlands is not known for its forests. But anyway, I'm still making a few troops. A few men. Oh, wow. France actually fortified this place. They actually got troops in their colonies. They care. Unlike the British, I don't know if they, they have quite an expansive empire. They might not be able to garrison everywhere. Again, I'm sort of hoping, relying more like on Germany to support uh, the home front. Unlike in Napoleon's Old War, whereas, again, as I said, it kind of just turned into me fighting everyone in the West and Germany milling around with Austria in the East. Uh, oh, political effort has been done. I Oh, that'll help. I said, I am sane as democracy, so we shall go down this route. Build me one civilian factory. And what do I need now? For relations, captain of industry would probably work well here. So that's what I'll do. Captain of industry. Divisions on the side. Ah, new man! Oh, I <laughs> pressed the wrong button. New man, go there. Alright, we are slowly getting an army. I will eventually need to upgrade my conscription laws, because currently it's on volunteers only. Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty. The Korean Empire, a Japanese puppet state, and Portugal has become a republic. Okay, well all of that has happened. I'm sorry, I'm not reading all this. Uh, I've just given you the basic rundowns of it. 
Because I want to get to the Great War. We don't care about the flavor text leading up to it unless it's like a Volcom War. Until then, I'm kind of focused. So, you... You shall go back to here, go to Rotterdam. And you stay focused. Well, I've got more. More political stuff I can put in. Uh, what about more... Research. Military theorists. Ah, that would get me army experience. That could be quite useful. Especially if I start now. Uh, what else can I get? Entrenchment, subdetection, division recovery, logistics, uh, army maneuver, army defense. Let's go with this and go with industry. So I can get my industry or my industrial research done a lot faster. Right, heavy industry has been completed. Well before 1916, could get construction speed. That might be nice. Or I can start working on guns. Uh, decryption, though, is pretty useful. See, I'm still a ways off the actual war, so I don't need to worry about any sort of military tech. I kind of need to just improve the Netherlands itself. So construction speed would be quite nice. Let's go with that. Even though it's only 3%, it's still something. Things going pretty well. Almost to the end of 1910. Oh, uh, revolution in Mexico has happened. Mexico has occurred one. The Mexican opposition. We have got our next national focus completed. Uh, we can go with... Oh, wow, that actually gives me a lot of factories. Let's go with that. Capitalist ideas. Good. We might be an industrial power by the time World War I rolls around. There's another guy. Good, we have now got a complete front line. I think. <laughs> it might be a complete front line. Uh, we might be missing one spot. Yeah, one spot. Approved hand tools. Again, a bit early for all that. Don't need to construct any trenches. Supply consumption. I don't need quite need that. Uh, land doctrine. Maybe. Maybe I'll start working on my new guns. Let's start working on the new guns now. Might as well get those stockpiled. And that is the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time... We, well, might as well get some into here. It is the new year. 1911. Who knows what's around the corner? More wars? More preparations? Most likely more preparations. Uh, until then, I will see you next time, guys. Later.